Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Felicia of Equals New Flick. In today's video, it's my first video back in a few weeks and we are playing with the new Sweet Nectar collection from W7. My husband was kind enough to order this for me um, because we didn't see it in Tesco's when he went up there and checked for me. Um, so yeah, we've got the palette which looks like this yes it's a duke for the two faced one can't remember what it's called we've got the bronzer and highlighter and we have a very very glowy and very kick uppy blusher and we also have four lip products um so if you would like to see how i got on with this new collection then keep on watching okay so i am back this is the first video I filmed in a couple of weeks. I managed to move some of the stuff around in my room so I could get to this end of my room. I still have a huge ass TV next to me. Um, I've managed to shift it over a little bit so I could get to, to my chair and my desk. That's better part, better turn up today, I tell you, because I'm, I'm fed up now. Um, but yeah, so idea for today, I was like, okay, I have a lot of new stuff to get through um and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of do it in order of when i got things so the first thing is the new sweet nectar collection from w7 i've got the palette i've got the blush bronze highlight and all four of the lipsticks so yeah that is the idea this is what the palette looks like I'm unsure of what kind of look I'm going to do because there's a quite an, a few nice colours. Um, obviously, I'm leaning a little bit more towards the pinky kind of colours, but we'll see. Uh, I will throw up some swatches once I've shown you all this as is, but I'm obviously not going to film the swatches now. I probably should because then at least I'd have an idea of what I want to do. This is the bronzer and the highlight, and then, yeah, I did show the lipsticks on the haul, little haul video I did the other week, so I'm not going to show them again right now. This is the blush, it has got little little golden birds in it so it's quite a glowy blush but yeah I know I'm, I'm feeling something a bit more on the the pinky side what I am going to do is I'm going to swatch these shimmer shades because oh that's cute that was terrible let's try that again one two three there is um, a dark purple. It almost looks more like a matte with some shimmer through it. But I have a feeling. I'm, I'm going to swatch it because, you know, technically it's, it's a shimmer. We'll see. Oh, that's more of like a satin kind of finish. Yeah. So these are... You gonna focus or what? There we go. See, this one's quite iridescent. This one is, and like all of them, that one is kind of a marbled kind of shade in the pan. That one looks like more of a flaky consistency. Again, this one here is also a marbled kind of flaky shade in the pan, but it's quite an iridescent one. That one's really pretty. Hmm. I don't know, I feel I'll probably end up using that first one. I don't know, but I'm going to get it on my eyes. I have an idea for a cute, like, brown and turquoise-y kind of look, because there is a beautiful turquoise shade in the pan, but I'm not going to do that today. I want to sit with something a bit more pinky toned for my my first look back, shall we say. So, just going to put a bit of that on the lid. Let's get some brushes out. I 
I know this is incredibly messy, but I don't really care. Just a pre-warning, as far as I'm aware, there is still an issue with the software on my computer. Um, well, the software and the, the CPU. They're not agreeing, um, which means that as soon as I upload my files to my editing software, the whole lot crashes. Um, so this will more than likely be edited on my tablet again. So, yeah, the format's going to be slightly different. There will be no music overlay um or any of the fancy kind of stuff uh i say i don't know why but it's just not behaving should we say so yeah i'm also gonna take that brush because that looks like a good one <laughs> um these shades do not have names so i will just i'll just hold them up and show you uh, as I go, I think the first one that I'm going to go in with is this shade here. It's like the deepest purpley pink. Uh, I'm going to take this on my P. Louise 198. Um, unsure of what kind of look I'm going to do. We're just going to see what happens. Oh, that's a nice colour. Okay, blending that out, that does tend to lighten up a little bit more. It's not as deep as what it looks in the pan. So I will need to take something to deepen that up a bit, I think. Just going to bring that under. Yeah, I'm going to need to deepen that up a little bit. I'll find something to do that with after. Then I'm going to take this shade here, this light pink. Like a peachy pink, it's pretty. You just use that to buff around that edge. Half on, half off. This is quite a good transition shade, but also just like a nice light blending shade. I don't feel like I need anything else after this one. Oh, my battery's gonna die, of course it is. Uh, let me just change my battery. Zooming you in would also be a good idea, really, wouldn't it? Okay, let's find something to deepen up this crease a bit. I think I'm going to have to go in with this dark brown. Because the only other dark purpley kind of shade is that almost like satin-like finish. Um, so let's just add a bit of this in. That would probably have a lot more depth had I laid it down first, but oh well. Take it through my crease, right in the socket. Okay, I'll take that first shade again. Just go around. Then I'm going to take that first shade that I used was quite pretty, wasn't it? Tell you what, let's go and get some brushes. Oh, do you know what? Let's just use the same brush, just different sides. I'm going to take this one and this one. I'm going to take this one first and then I'll go in with that one. These are going to be better on your finger. Yeah, much better. Okay. 
I'm going to try and take that other shade on the other side of that brush. Again, I don't... Yeah, no. Okay, these shades are not going to work very well on the brush. Not that type of brush. Okay, that's not going to work. Whatever that was, I do not care. Let's take that I'm not sure how I feel about this, to be honest. I have more of that pink one. Maybe if I add some of that iridescent pink shade on the other one on the bottom row. Look a lighter. Iridescent one. Mm. Still not thrilled with it, but um, that's going to have to do, I think. Is this my favourite look? No, not in the slightest. Am I going to sit and wipe it all off and start again? Absolutely not. Add a tiny bit more of that dark brown on that out of it. Alright, that will do for now. Um, let me do the other row and then we'll come back and do the blush and stuff. That's what I meant, yeah. Okay, so I've done my foundation concealer, I set it. Uh, if I thought about it, I would have used my W7 foundation, but I didn't. Uh, I actually used my HMB. So, we've got the bronzer. And the highlight here, so let's get a brush. That one will do. So let's see what this bronzer shade is like on me. I did use the W7 uh, Bronze Chic Cream one. Which smells amazing, I still cannot put my finger on what the scent is though. to work it into my hairline a bit because unfortunately where it's all thinning a bit all right now let's go in with the pretty blusher it is very very nice it is a glowy blush i'm gonna i've tapped off all the excess Oh, that's pretty. It is very kick up -y. Um, And as you can see, very, very glowy. It looks like I have pink highlighter on. <laughs> okay, I will probably add a bit more of... Uh, where's the brush I had for my powder? Uh, I'm going to add a touch more. I used the Banana Dreams one. I could have made this a full face of W7 if I'd have thought about it, but I did not. Okay. Now let's get a brush and use the highlighter portion. Where's my highlighter brush gone? Where's my highlight? Where is my highlighter brush? Um, ah, there it is. I was looking in the wrong section. So uh, this looks like the Gloco Motion formula. Yeah. Um, so I didn't know. Sorry, I'm also watching Chicago Fire. Cruise just dropped several in it. I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer, and I mean the tiniest bit. Yeah, 
There we go. That looks cute. Okay. Um, am I right in thinking I have some of my lip stuff? Oh, and my lash glue then. Lash glue. Lip pencil. And a lip base. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll swatch these lipsticks on the back of my hand. I already know which one I want to use, but I'll, I'll swatch them for you anyway. And I'm going to take these stickers off. Oh, Casey's back next week. Sorry about that, I got an unexpected phone call. Um, so yeah, four lipsticks. So I'll swatch them for you. So we've got My Delight, which is the red one. These are quite a balmy consistency they have got like a little pink heart in the middle which i believe is uh like a conditioning balm type uh sweet treat which is the one that i'm gonna want to use because it's like a pretty movie pink then all right treacle and last one oh honey so these are the four shades you can see they're quite sheer you can build them up this is the one that I'm going to use. I am going to line my lips first with my Rimmel lip liner in Miss Mauve. Okay, so sweet treat. Okay, that's a cute colour. Uh, I need to clean that edge up a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's how that's looking. I need finishing touches, I need some lashes, some setting spray because I'm getting very, very hot in here. So, shall I just, oh, let's just do Demi Wispies because they're already here. I will do these on camera actually because a couple of people have said, oh, can you do a video showing how you put in your lashes? So, yes, here you go. I need to get some more duo lash glue. So I use the green one with the little thing. I don't apply them to the lashes. I apply it to my lash line. It's that much easier. And I line it up where the edge of my lash, and make sure this is where the, your lashes start obviously that one's gone on quite easily i can guarantee you the other side won't though but when you get a new pair of lashes you want to before you stop putting glue on place it on so line it up where your lashes would start and if you need to trim off you always trim from the outside corner where's my little lash tweezers you can use um like pick them up with tweezers and apply them like that if you would like I'm kind of 50-50. Sometimes I'll use them, sometimes I won't. Okay. So yeah, this side I'll look, I'll pick up with the tweezers. I always hold them like kind of middle. But yeah, look. If you've got your mirror in front of you, tilt your head back. Or if you're going to use a handheld mirror, hold it down. And doing it from that angle does help. So once that's 
dried down a bit so you make sure that all of your your edges are stuck down i've got these lash tweezers so i will just go in once the glue's dried and just kind of clamp them down with my actual lashes and make sure it's all as it should be i've got a bit of a, like an eyeshadow flake right on that in a bit there also if you're going to use lash tweezers make sure they are clean otherwise your lashes will just stick to them they will not come off when you place them on your eye and when you do this step it is a massive pain Okay. What I am going to do is put a little bit of liner over that pink flake because that is annoying me. There we go. There we go. All done. Let me zoom you out a bit. Not too much because this room is still a mess. So. Yeah, there we go. That it, no, it's not because I haven't done my under eye. Wow, I can tell I haven't done this for a couple of weeks, can't you? I've forgotten everything. Why? What? Honestly. Um. Okay. Let's. I'm just going to take that mm, original pink shade. I think. And Add that underneath. I don't want to make. I don't want to bring it down too far. I just want it to be a nice kind of wash of colour underneath. Why would I, I've literally got a mirror in this palette. Why am I looking in that one? mascara I'm going to use the new Maybelline Surreal one okay now we're done there we go why do I look so washed out no not turn it off turn it on a little Okay, so there we go. That is the finished look. What do you think? Is this my favourite look? No, not by a long shot. But first time playing with makeup in like three weeks. Um, so yeah, kind of lost my creativity a bit. But I mean, it looks cute. It's just not my favourite look. Um, Maybe I'll have a, another play with it and I really want to use these two shades here, like the turquoise green ones. Um, so I don't know, well, well, I'll have another play with it another time and see how I feel about it then. I mean the quality of the palette overall is good, the shimmers again don't like to be picked up in a brush. Um, which I found is very common with shimmer shades these days, a lot of them don't like to, um, like they're not a, a brush formula, at least not the type of brushes that I've been using. But yeah, I mean the pigmentation's there. I can't fault that at all. Um, the blush, bronzer and highlight, again, lovely. Um, I'd say the blush does, it's very glowy. Like very, very glowy. Um, but yeah, I mean overall, happy with how it looks. I've just realised. That there's a bit of foundation kind of missing there. That's oh, oh, there you go. But uh, yeah, I mean, this lip formula again is very balmy. I'm not used to this kind of formula. I don't tend to use these kind of formulas. I go for more matte ones. Uh, it's a lovely colour. They all look like the lovely colours. Uh, again, I'll maybe use like one of the nude ones next time and we'll see We'll see how I feel about it then but Overall, yeah, I mean it's a cute collection Obviously the palette is duping um, The recent Too Faced one I uh, can't remember what it's called for the life of me But it looks cute, it's just not my favourite look um, So yeah, we'll 
we'll see. Um, I've got so much stuff to film with. I've got new stuff from, I've got almost a full face from Primark. I've got loads of new P. Louise stuff to try. There's just so much that I've got. I've got that TikTok set. That isn't for YouTube though. I've wanted me to do TikTok with that. But there's just a lot of stuff that I've got literally sitting down there um, that I need to have a play with. And I don't know, I think because I've not been able to get to this end of the room for a couple of weeks, I kind of sat down. I was very overwhelmed. I was like, you know what, let's try and go in order of when I got these things. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell, leave me a comment down below, all of that good stuff. My animation is not going to be on the bottom of the screen because I'm editing on my tablet. Um, however, this one will because this one does actually work on my tablet. I don't know why, how, I'm assuming different formats, who knows. Um, but yeah, that is me done. I am going to love you and leave you and I will see you in the next one.